Hey everyone, Wapsa here. In this video, we're going to be learning about how to add dynamic 2D lighting in pixel art and 2D in general. As you can see, this thing here affects this, these bricks so beautifully with dynamically lighting up each of the colors in different form. I can switch up the colors, you can see. If I go fully pink, if I go darker color, if I go a lighter color, you can see the colors around the center are more bright than the color are far away. And if we turn off the effect, turn off the effect, this is what we get. This is just a simple color that's overlaying on top. But once we turn on the effect, it's dynamically. Let's see again if it dynamically now no has lighting let me teach you how to do it it's pretty simple so let's go in let's go to a new scene first of all what you need to do is control a and i'm gonna go to is add a canvas modulate node uh, this is just to change the texture to a bit of a different colors to see the effects of lights a bit more control a to add a sprite 2d node after adding a Sprite 2D node, you go ahead and now go ahead and create a new canvas texture 2D. You click on it and under Diffuse, drag and drop the texture of the sprite that you want to use. I'm using these bricks. Uh, let's Control plus D to duplicate this. Well. Uh, to duplicate this and move it here and change this one to this here let's delete that actually and control Z and go here get a new canvas texture and the diffuse drag it up this one and now we have both of these now what we need to do is add our normal map a normal map is essentially a texture type that tells the computer how to affect the texture with lights. Uh, as you can see, these have different colors and each color means a different level of level in 3D space to mimic 3D effect in 2D. This is good for 2D and 3D purposes. In 3D, we use normal maps to mimic 3D depth, with like in, uh, other than using fully detailed model, we add detailed normal maps to mimic 3D depth. Let's go ahead and add a normal map here. Under, under normal map, you can see, and let's drag and drop the normal map for this one. And Let's drag and drop the normal map or this one right here. Uh, it should be this one and we got the normal map. Now, right away, you cannot see the effects. Let's go ahead to the canvas modulate node and let's go ahead and make a bit of a darker nighty color. It, like, it looks like it's night. Yeah, I think it looks good. Yeah, that should be sufficient. Okay, uh, this is a bit of a darker I like, just, just for visual there. Control A to add a point light. Point light to D. Go ahead and I'll create a gradient texture to D. Click on it under fill. Set this to radial. Drag this point to the center. Go to the gradient flip the colors by dragging one color to the other side and to the other and it just so it's the circle fits inside the texture for looks obviously and just like that yeah it looks good now that we have this click off and now which we should have our textures and somehow they are gone. Holy moly. Oh yeah, it's, uh, okay. I 
just make the first location. Is it a point light? Let's go ahead and move it somewhere. As you can see, right now it's, uh, it's a bit weak, so let's pop up this trend and see what happens when it comes in contact. It's white, so it's affecting in white color and it's affecting these bricks in such a time way. Instead of like just going and putting a color over there on top, it's doing it dynamically. So each brick is affected differently with the light. When it will be added to your team, it will look so much better and so cool. How we go about creating normal maps is a different topic and uh, Normally what I would recommend is just draw them while creating your art assets and if you are commissioning uh, to request your artist to create normal maps. Uh, generally they are pretty easy and there are some softwares are also available that help create normal maps for 2D texture. Uh, one is called Sprite Lamp, you might have heard about it. And yeah, that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one.